Welcome to Loincense Metric Tool videos. In this video, you will learn how to use thresholds to effectively monitor Loincense Metric utilization and how to set up conditional notifications about changes that you are interested in. Setting the thresholds is an optional task that can facilitate tracking your license consumption in context of your entitlements. Once you specify the thresholds, you can easily see for which product's metric utilization approaches or exceeds the specified value, and you can take corrective actions. You can specify thresholds to represent the number of licenses that you purchased. However, you can in fact specify any value that you want to monitor. Thresholds are defined for informational purposes and for your convenience. They are not taken into consideration during the audit. Setting thresholds. To define your thresholds, hover over reports and click all metrics. Information about thresholds is not visible by default. You can either add it manually by changing the default report configuration or you can open a predefined report view. Let's go with the second option and let's choose metric thresholds from the list of predefined report views. As you can see, the threshold and threshold delta columns are now shown on the report. To set the threshold for a product, click the pencil icon and click Set Threshold. Then provide a value. This can be the value that is stated in your Passport Advantage account. However, it can be any value that you want to monitor. For example, if you want to be informed when the license metric utilization reaches 90% of your licenses, specify a corresponding threshold. Then click Set. The Threshold Delta column automatically shows whether current metric utilization is below or above the threshold that you just set. Information about the threshold is also shown as the orange line on the chart that represents the history of metric consumption. It allows you to view how utilization changed compared to the threshold in time. To view only products for which the thresholds were exceeded, select Exceeded Thresholds from the list of predefined report views. Setting automatic notifications Once you set the thresholds, you can schedule automatic notifications to be sent to your email, either regularly or when a specific number of products appears on the report. To be notified when any product exceeds the threshold, Hover over Export and click Schedule Export. For this feature to work, an SMTP server must be set up in License Metric Tool. Specify the format, size and orientation of the report that you want to be set. Then provide the list of recipient emails. Finally, specify when you want to receive the report. On a regular basis, for example on Monday every four weeks, or when a specific number of items appears on the report. For example, when at least one product for which the threshold is exceeded appears on the report. You can also choose both options at the same time. Then click Save. Notifications are sent to the specified email according to your preferences. Adding metric custom fields. You can define additional information about your licenses on the All Metrics report by creating custom fields. For example, you can add information such as the license renewal date, contact details to the license owner, or extra details about the thresholds that you specify. To add a custom field to the All Metrics report, hover over Management and click Metric Custom Fields. Then click New. Specify the name of the field and the type of the value that can be entered in that field. For example, if you set the thresholds to 90% of the licenses that you purchased to be notified about approaching the limit ahead of time, you can create a custom field in which you indicate the actual number of purchased licenses. You can name that field Number of Licenses and choose Integer as the value type. Then click Create. Once you create the custom field, Go back to the All Metrics report and choose Metric Thresholds from the list of predefined report views. To display the custom field, hover over Configure and click Configure View. From the list of available columns, choose the custom one that you created and click Submit. To specify a value for the custom field, select the product for which you want to add the value, hover over Edit and click Set Value. Specify the value and click OK. 
You can now easily see that even though the threshold is exceeded, it was set to a lower number than the actual number of purchased licenses, so there is still time to take preventive action. In order to have this information easily accessible, save the report view. To do this, hover over Configure and click Save As. Specify the name of the report view, for example, thresholds with additional information. Then specify whether you want this view to be private, which means it will be accessible only to you. Otherwise, all users of License Metric Tool can access the report view. You can also make the view default for the particular report. If you are an administrator, you can make the view default for all users. Once you choose your options, click Create. The report is now available in the list of predefined report views. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the links below.